Hey all this is Earth. welcome back to another episode of Thea the Awakening. As we have a 20 person crew now sitting in Astoya, we have split it off into a 9 person expedition. We're taking along Mishlimir, who is a consummate adventurer by this point, uh, wielding the badass hammer. I want to kind of go through what I'm doing here. He's got the badass hammer, so he's our splash damager. Thundax, ever uh, diligent, ever willing to fight. Tasha, another one of our veterans. Kitty for our magic, in case we hit anything like that. Wojciecha, again, one of the uh, second set, but also a veteran venture in her own right. Vessel the medic, because God knows we gotta survive sometime. Nidal for fighting. Gorbek, also for fighting. And Bogodara um, for gathering, if we see something we like. In general, what we're gonna try to do here is go take care of the Suspicious Tower. If we don't see anything too dangerous, I may check out this Suspicious Tower and check out the Dying Lesh's Wish. But that depends on what we see along the way. So I took kind of heavy on the fighter side, less on the gatherer side, mainly because, well, I don't really need to gather anything that's not really, really far away or really inconvenient. So I'm not gonna try that on this particular expedition. We're just gonna go and maybe get some quests done. That's the plan. But that also means we still need to craft some stuff in Astoya. Uh, so let's do that. Let's figure something out. Uh, we have some dragon bones left yet. And I wanted to make a one-handed club and a shield so we can get another splash damager. Oh, really? We have one person making fruit pies. That's kind of interesting. We need a... <laughs> I know, I know, I know, thunk like pie! But I think we need someone to do that a little better there, thunk. Otherwise, we're going to starve. Like, legit, we're going to starve. I go, she had to get on there and make pies. <laughs> She's like, I'm better than this! I know, I know, but we just, that's all we got right now. All right, so Chabobi's gonna take over the major crafting issue. And I wanna make a medium armor, which we can make out of dragon bone. We can't make heavy, sorry. Misclick. Medium armor, we can make out of primarily dragon bone. Cost us 14. We could double up on the dragon bone, which I don't think is a great idea. It's gonna just, it's gonna give us as leech, but it's using too many dragon bones, I think. We could totally do something decent, right? With two dragon bones, it's 21 and four. Let's say with, I mean, Mithril, we got 22 and 3, and that's still really good, plus 2 perception, which is not bad. We could also do it with silver, so it's basically all comparable, more or less. I don't want to use that many dragon bones because it's so freaking rare. I mean, Mithril's another thing entirely, but, you know. I digress. So we want to make one of those, but we also want to make some weaponry. The only thing is, I left Thonk here, and Thonk, I don't think, actually has any armor. So he may be the one rocking the uh, dragon armor before long. Everyone else has something resembling a decent set. We can give him something crappy right now, I suppose. Uh, just for the moment, in case we get attacked out of nowhere, one of those random events. Uh, yeah, eight armor, that's not gonna work so good. I think we're gonna disassemble that entirely. Eight armor, twelve armor for bone spike. Fifteen. Sixteen's the best we've got. So just give him the heavy armor and we'll fix it in a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a lot of heavy armor here, but we gotta make some better stuff. So anyway, sorry, I digress. Uh, crafting. Let's go with the... Let's try the club and shield first. I figure that'll be more useful. We'll have maybe iron for better weaponry. We can make a magic club. Ooh. <laughs> as, I, as I digress again. Wow, it's shiny! No, no, let's do this. Let's do the proper way. I was going to do it. Put mithril and the wood for the catalyst. There's a dragon crusher. And that's four leech, six damage. There's ten damage in total, which is blunt, which is not bad. So six, four with the perception. Can we do something similar with steel? 5-4. There's only one less with steel, and steel's considerably worse than Mithril. I'm gonna save the Mithril for the armor, I think, honestly. 4-4, um, four, four, so that's not really good. Was scaled leather do something cool? 4-4 four, four again. I'm trying to optimize here. I don't want to use really good stuff I don't have to. But I have the sinking feeling I may need to. 4-4. Four, four. Basically a lot of the same. Uh, Yeah, I think it's either gonna be... Well, it's going to have to be either steel if we want to go 5-4. Well, what about silver? Silver goes 5-4. So we have, I guess, we still have more steel 5-4. It's not special. But we can do this. It'll be a good weapon anyway. And I want to, like I said, I want to save the How much do we need for the mithril here if we were to run it? We need six. If we use two, no, we'd still have enough. So let's not, let's not skimp on the mithril then. Let's make the club out of mithril. We still want to make a shield though. And I think a decent... Let me make dragon bone shield. All right, yeah. So let's do this step by step. Club first. Uh, there, put the mithril down and use the wood as a catalyst. Gives us six four with one perception blunt. I like that weapon. We're gonna give it to one of our orcs so they can swing it with those big old muscly arms of theirs. So there you go. Three days. Beautiful. Make me some of that. Now, expedition time. Not that. Expedition time. Oh, we gotta rename this. No, no, no. This is Thundax's crew. You know how this goes. Thundax crew. 
Done. All right, let's go. Um, we could do this. I'm going to take this a little bit more careful, like, because I don't trust stuff to not run out of the fog and murder me. This, let's just kill it. Auto resolve, it's fine. Six, two spider silk. Yay. All right. Good enough. Everything going. Everyone doing something, right? I'm just going to make sure I don't get that notification of, you didn't equip everyone. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Production. Yes, everyone's doing stuff. Yes, they are. Okay, good. Next turn. Cool. So we still see this. We're making food. We're making training swords. Our research is going very slowly. That's okay. So suspicious tower time. We have some magicians here. So that should help. We got an encounter on the way, though. Take a closer look. Another tower. There's a lot of suspicious towers in town. They're like all around here. All right, time to get a look at some suspicious towers. Maybe they're stacking because I haven't gone to any of the damn things yet, but all right. What's up? What is this tower? Withered Thumb. Investigate. As you get closer to within the net of giant spiders, hope to gather the stone, you must get rid of the nest. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'm not even going to bother. Take as much stone as you can. Take. Oh, we can have an option when available, really. All right. Oh, wow. Is that obsidian? That is obsidian. Nice. Oh, I got to get to more of these towers and more quartz. Yep. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's totally worth it. That was totally worth it. I'm going to get to more of these towers. I mean, we can get the Dying Lish's Wish at some point. That's okay. Two schools aren't that scary. I will handle that. What are you, anyway? Fat rats. Oh, no. We're going to have to kill Grimnaw's kin. Can't you join us? We're supposed to be attracting attracting monsters. No, I don't want to kill Grimnaw's kin. The memory, the memory is too close. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm going to kill these guys. Uh, auto resolve, no worries, thank you. We got meat out of that, that's kind of creepy. I was not rat meat. I don't feel like that would be a nutritious way to go. All right, let's get in. Those, those encounters, you know, I don't mind it going a little easier once in a while. We'll clear up the hive and we'll keep going north. Ooh, we got a new person? Oh no, Chabovi finished his uh, craft. So let me make the shield that's gonna go with that club so we get a little extra drain going. I want that to be able to be almost equivalent to the draining of um, a solid weapon like our two-hander, so the club and shield are going to go together. Uh, and let's see, what is a good item to use here? Scaled leather would be probably pretty good. Nine, nine, and two leech, that's pretty good. Um, we have some gems here. Eight, nine, and two leech, so, so the leather is actually better as the shield. Eight, eight, two leech, and one dex. I still like the nine, nine, and two leech. Eight, eight, and two leech. Okay, so we're probably going to go with the... Was it the, no, scaled leather, I think. It was 9 9 and 2 leech. Yep, 9 9 2 leech. Perfect. I think that is more than suitable. Oh, can we do something cool with dark wood or whatever? So 9 9 2 leech. Let's see if there's some cool stuff we can do with dried wood. 8 8 and 2 leech. So that's not really cool. Elven wood. 8 8 2 leech and 1 attractiveness. Okay, that's kind of weird. And dark wood. 8 8 and 2 leech. Okay, that's kind of sucks. So, yep, scaled leather it is. Fine. Let's do it that way. Not that way. That way. 9 9 2 leech. Confirm. Jabovi, get on that, buddy. Got four days on the shield. Damn, son. All right. No worries. Uh, we have movement here, so let's keep going. Let's check out what the hive has in store. I'm really glad we got some of that obsidian. That's also really good material for weaponry. If you remember, Gorbeck's weapon is uh, is made of obsidian as well. Hi. Bats. All right, we're going to check all these things out. Obviously, we want some research out of this while we're up here and hopefully get some quests done. Feels like a while since we can actually do quests. We've been in, like, real total survival mode for a while and uh, now it finally seems like things may be turning around a little bit uh, I don't want to count my chickens at the moment search one skull really come on 19 of course so we could probably start making some nice buildings out of this actually this is gonna be nice we'll send it back have Chabovi build us some things to track more peoples yeah, that's more like it what is this tough bat striga bat and two others uh, we have what is it we have a nine-man squad Let's head out this way so we can actually make the encounter ourselves when we're ready. Maybe hunt them or something. Yeah, okay, so are you going to encounter us or not? You're not going to encounter us. Perfect. We may be able to... Uh, but we don't have a lot of other things besides just whooping. I don't think we have a lot of good hunters. We just have one gatherer with us. You know what? Let's do this right. Streak about deformed bats. So Streak about the only thing that's sort of dangerous. Let's begin the combat. So we have a lot of power here, Mishlim, you're among them, and looks like our not as powerful people are back here. So this is pretty perfect. Save our medic, who is not going to be deployed ever. Keep in play. 
I guess they get to go first because reasons. So he does 23. So we need to be able to drain and fix ourselves here. Mishlimir's a little, little skimped on the draining. I may give him the dragon armor I make so he can actually drain while murdering. All right, so that's gonna, all right, so that's almost too little damage to get kills out. These Strigobats are clever. They try to set us up so we get screwed, which is smart. We could confuse a Strigobat, which is not a bad idea. So we'll see if we can play. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of first action. She's actually not useful. I thought she'd be more useful on support. She's a mage after all. Whatever. All right, we're gonna get our big swingers out first anyway, though. So let's go like that. And get Nido out there. Then we're gonna have to start playing a little bit of defense. Strigabat again. Again, they're using them to protect the Strigabats, which makes sense. It's very smart. <sighs> so what can we do? We can get you just out there to start swinging. It's not a bad idea. If I can get closer on some of my bigger hitters here, like Gorbeck, like Gorbeck would absolutely wreck face at this point. The only danger is that he won't have... No, he should be fine. One shield, but he's going to drain 20. So as long as he doesn't go down the first go, it'll be okay. A little, a little less enthusiastic about that, but let me get him out here because he's going to do just ludicrous damage when we get the opportunity. First action is Striga. Drop another Striga. Okay, so those are the four Striga bats. They've already been deployed. So this is going to hurt a lot. The first action was not very cool. Uh. Alright, that's awfully not good, actually. Let me shield. I can't first action anybody in my party. I thought that we'd have more tactics than this. If one swing from Gorbeck and this goes down, my concern is that combined, it's 21, it's 23, so she'll heal, no, she'll heal up enough. It'll be close, but she'll heal up enough, no, that's fine. We'll be alright. She may take a bit of a bruising, but with some heals on, we should be okay. Alright, so let's do this this way. Let's drop um, Thundax in there, because he's going to swing pretty well. Oh my god. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man, well, we're going to have to depend on our medic skill to keep everything alive. Uh, that's, that's really not good. Wow. Those first actions are too strong, man. Too strong. So I don't even know where Tasha's going to swing, and then I don't think she's not going to be able to handle three streak of just beating her in the face repeatedly. Yeah, I... Oh, that's really bad. I can get Vessel in, I guess. It's relatively safe of him just to be able to... Hit, I suppose? What do they have left? Four streak of bats. That's just brutal, man. All those first actions. Holy crap. If she may not make it, then let's see. She's going to get one drain out before all the pain comes. 23, 21, and 19. That's 40, 63. 63 plus... That's 61. She, yeah, she's not going to make it. Crap! Oh, that really sucks. Yeah, what's going to happen? She's going to attack, I don't know, probably this one, and it's going to heal up off of her. Mishima's gonna whack this guy, but it's not gonna be a kill. She's gonna kill that. He's gonna kill that, and then we're just absolutely boned. Oh man! Oh man, that's really bad. And I can't first action anything. Okay, that sucks. We're we may lose Tasha. Shit. Okay. Well, so much for this uh, expedition going well. That was just really unfortunate with all those first actions. Well, let's take the uh, opportunity to at least do some more work. Let's just get in there. Uh, she can still swing pretty well, and she has some shielding. There's really no point to doing anything else. They try to counter something on me. Even Gran Gran here can do some work. Um, would 
this be okay for Vzesul? If I could jump Vzesul in front, he'd take nine. He'd deal five right now. Oh, God. Um, this is not good, man. That's not good. Alright, let's see how bad this is gonna go. Yeah, he's already really badly wounded. Oh, she actually might make it. No, oh, she's not. No! Shit. Like two hit points away. Two hit points away. Despite the hammer that we had going down. Not enough tank off the bat. Oh god, Tasha. Tasha got wounded bad. Oh man. Those first actions are brutal. What's in the area? Is there anything to gather? Wood. That'll keep us alive, I guess. We can get gather some fruit while we're at this. You gotta make camp. Come on, healer. Don't screw me. Gather. Let's get Kitty to gather the fruit and get Bogodara and Jessel to help with the wood. Oh no, man. That's really bad. Tasha, don't bite it. Don't bite it. Those first actions are so rough. So rough. Alright, let's go that way. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to turn. Damn it! Ah! Despite the medic, even. And we're down to, down to man. Oh, that's really bad. Well. So much for that. Well, that's a real shame. Uh, let's just auto-calculate this. It'll be fine. But now it's just... Well, that's really frustrating. Well, what can you do? Yep. Auto-resolve that. Take the stone, getting some obsidian, which is nice. How much weight do we have? We're approaching the limits of our weight tolerance as well. Uh, just do that. Now I'm sad. I'm really sad. Okay, well, I mean, not much to do there, unfortunately. So we got a little bit of wolfy wolf stuff. Yeah, I need to get another warrior back up here. I'm gonna make this work. Bear wolf and others. All right. Um. Oh, what's this crap now? Topielce. All right, we got to get back then, I guess. Let's clear this out and get back. I need to refit this crew a little bit. I don't want to get caught uh, out, especially with only eight when that four school army's coming. I hope I can get in uh, toward the safe zone in time. It's gonna be interesting. We have finished crafting at Ostoya. So let's go in here. Uh, what can we craft now? We're gonna make that dragon armor, right? So let's do that. Uh, let's go with the dragon bone. Where are you? There you go. And then let's go with... We can use the spider circus catalyst. We have like 200 of that, so I'm not too worried about that. And now let's put the mithril in the place here, like we said. So 22, three leech. Dragon bone armor, not too shabby. Confirm and make that. That's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of production time, but that'll be fine. All right, well, that was that was really sad that we lost Tasha like that. But we're gonna go in here for a second. What's in here? Oh, that's cute. Um, you know, if I had a nine-person crew, I'd take this on, but as I stand, maybe later. All right, that's getting a little creepy now, but I do wanna, like I said, get everyone equipped. What the hell? No, I don't want to talk to the Jada, they're fine. We're not cursed. We are not cursed. We may be cursed in real life in this game, but uh, as far as the game mechanics are concerned, we're not cursed. There's this sixth up yet, so we should be able to handle that with just a straight up whooping crew from Ostoya, which I may take out on this mission. Oh, uh, but oh man, we lost Tasha. That's so sad. Hey, we're home! Help the child, but the cat will die. Split your party. Uh, not this again. I can't do this with like five, can I? Or was this a really easy fight? I don't even remember. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's auto result. That's fine. Yep, we got it. New child. Nice. Okay, good. So I did remember that that split fight was easy. Excellent. Take the child and leave. We needed to replace Tasha, so I guess that kind of worked out. Sometimes things work out like that. 
Oh, that's hard though, man. That's that's harsh. That's rough. We lost one of our best ones again. She will be remembered. Um, but that is life, it would seem. On the Okay, I, I hate saying this even, but on the upshot, oh god, those words actually passed my lips, didn't they? On the upshot, we have a good piece of armor to give to Thunk before the dragon stuff is actually made. And that's fine. And with that, I may go after that uh, four school thing so we can go back out there and get the equipment and the materials we need to keep building stuff in Ostoya. Creepy dolls, two damage, two damage, but you're already. All friend like that. So you just need like a piece of jewelry or something. Reaction and range damage. You get fast reaction. Uh, that's not bad. But what can we do? Three backstab one folklore. Backstab one armor. That's a pretty good item actually. This is what we got off of. Um, poor, poor Grimnaw when he bit it. All right. Uh, let's see. Those are more or less equipped. Do we have any open artifact slots? Yeah, but Kitty has no weight to go around. Jessel has no weight to go around. Chestavoyna has an artifact slot that's open, so we can give her something. And so does Bogodada. Okay, so Chestavoyna, you'd probably find a use for that. Likely. Yeah, two damage, two damage. It's basically about the same thing. Take the creepy doll. Bogodada, take the creepy doll. Very nice. We also have another, I think ranged weapon, unfortunately, because we lost one of our best, so we're, who can we slot this one onto, so the fighters can actually support, let's give it to Wojciecha, yeah, so she can help a little out with the ranged combat, alright, so that was a shame, like I said, but, at least, at least we're okay, we're gonna pretty much take almost everyone out of Astoya, save our crafter, so we're gonna leave... Leave Chebovid in there. We're gonna go full on, I think, with a new expedition to go after these guys. The Stopielce. So that way we can get rid of this and then move back up, clean up the suspicious tower, get another crew to handle these ruins, and maybe go on with that. That's a shame. We also want him crafting, because once he crafts the armor, we're gonna go in to produce probably another, like, human attractor, I was just suggested. I think Cabbage Field is the one that was doing that? Or is it Pasture? Uh, I don't quite remember. It's gonna be under. I think the explanation's under research, actually. Hold on. It's gonna be a weird place for it, but. Yeah, here you go. Pasture. Grants meat. Yeah. So, vegetable baby is found. I, so, one of these is a human attractor. I don't remember. We'll have to check out exactly what we have in our. Oh, that's be a good way to do that, don't we? Isn't there, rather? Construction. I know I can do the palisade. What we currently have, though. Village overview. Ah, here we go. Yeah, but how good are these? Like, seriously. Alright, I know, like, there has to be a way to check this. Everyone, this seems like an interface thing. If people know exactly how to do that, please let me know. Uh, there has to be a way to check what kind of quality we had in the Watchtower, the Palisade, and what uh, benefits they grant. It seems awfully strange we can't figure out actually what we built. It's a little... It's a little weird. But alright, anyway. Inventory. Let's go and make this expedition proper, except for Chebovit, I think. We'll, let's take a day. Let's take a day and mourn, okay, before we jump out, and then we'll we'll go after the Forest School Army of Doom. You finished? I know Kitty's here and Bogodara's here. Right, right, right. Yeah, now we're gonna get this expedition moving in a second. Uh, all right, five more days in the Draco Bone Armor. Okay, so Eliska, Mishlimir, Thundax, Thunk, Skullcleva, Mamira, Kashi, Koshirada, Chabovi staying, Ludmila, Sobibor, Kieri, Wojciechow, Rasul, Niedao, Chazvojna. Everyone's, everyone's rocking out on this one. We gotta clear the major threat here. I'm glad we have some obsidian though. This is gonna be able to make some really nice stuff. Some good weaponry, I think. Uh, kid can stay and watch Chabovi craft. And let's go with some food stuffs, I think. That's gonna be the most important thing. So we're not going to be out long, so we just need like a couple hundred food and we should be fine. Right about there. Just to make sure in case the weirdest thing happens and we actually get stuck out longer than we expect. We can actually handle it pretty well. You good? Alright, we have 25 days worth of food and no fuel. Just in case we need to camp suddenly, in case someone takes some massive damage. Let's, uh... Let's go. We might be able to socialize. I don't know if we can... We probably should be able to socialize them down, actually. It might make it a little safer. 
Um, but let's just do it like that. Let's take like 10 days worth of fuel just to be eight days is fine. All right. Good. So, Astoria, first we're going to clear this guy up because that's just a threat that we don't need to deal with. Just kill it. Thank you. We're going to head back and then we're going to go after this four skull camp in a second. Oh, we can go a little further. That's good. Onward. Hey, he's back. Well, we lost a warrior. Time to gain a warrior. So, welcome. We can get another crafter, honestly, another gatherer. I think we'll be okay. So another gatherer would be good when we leave, so we can still do it. Let's take uh, let's take a worker then. All right. Shabibor, welcome. All righty. Yeah, I know nothing's being built right now. We're kind of busy. All right, we're going to go after these guys the way we've intended to and see if we can't clear this up. So we can't talk to the undead. We may be able to sneak around, but I don't trust that if it goes badly. We have some tacticians, but not that many. Not for four school stuff, so I think we're going to have to go straight up. Straight up ball on this. Alright. Topielce, let's begin the combat. A lot of our gatherers here, but we do have... Yeah, we have Michelimir, we have some serious tank machineries here. Uh, we have a lot of our warriors in the second slot, though. I don't know how I feel about that. And we have our medic in the front. Yeah, let's just reshuffle real quick. Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh, we still have Michelimir, that I'll have to do. Opponent goes first, though. 23 hammer damage. Alright. We need someone who can absorb and then heal off of it. So, Thonk is probably the tankiest of the bunch and has the most drainage. Let's go Thonk out first. Get Mishlimir in the middle since he can't drain. And then let's have him flanked by another angry orc. That'll probably be good. We'll maybe try to counter some offenses or tactics at some point. Uh, these are level 4 guys, so we'll try to take their options away if we can. I need to drop 2 down, huh? Alright. Well, let's take a tactic away from them so they don't have the ability to do this again. Thank you. And let's get more damage on the field. You can absorb 16, that's fine. Your armor will probably save you from that. So let's keep putting people on the board. 38 is nearly enough to kill it, but not quite. 40, however, is. We get Sobibor out there, and we'll flank him with another warrior. We can tank a bit. Let's take Wojcicka out there. Well, it's about the same, because we have the two armor. So that's fine. We can try and counter an offense if we have the ability. But I don't think we're going to be able to. We can counter a tactic for another four. Less on the field is better. Got him. All right. Let's keep going. I like this whole, like, the feeling of the whole village coming together to handle the threat. It feels very, very primeval, doesn't it? I right, get out there, and then we're gonna just go to town with everyone else. All our very intellectual gatherers and crafters are just gonna go absolutely bananas on all of this. Uh, and then I think we should be fine, actually, because let's calculate this out. Thonk should definitely swing here, and that's gonna be a kill. We need to be able to heal most of the damage. Mishlimir's gonna swing here and kill and splash. Thumbnax is gonna swing and kill. So Bibor, yeah, maybe we'll kill. Let's see. Can we first action somebody? Yes, we can. We can get Chest of Void. No, that's not safe, though. We should get... Well, if we get support for 29, we'd be able to kill. Yeah, okay. So support to 29 or 28. So on the nosy, basically. 28 hit points. Yep, that's going to be done. So let's first action her. Let's give her, just in case something goes weird and I miscalculate something weird, let's give her one extra damage. Have her shield it up. And then we'll just first action her. There you go. So she's going to be able to kill this guy first go, no problem. And then we can try and shield people. It doesn't really matter. And you can kind of just sit there and pretend you're old. Because you are. All right, continue. Now, let's go. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. Splash damage is good. Another kill. Alright, so no damage is incoming. That's pretty perfect. Got the undead filth. 
What do we have? Really crappy rewards, unfortunately. This is really awful. One piece of cane and some shitty weapons. The way they were hitting, you'd think those weapons are a little better than that. Let's go back to Astoyan. Who got, uh, everyone got a little experience from that massive war. Oh well. It happens sometimes that, uh, you know, the best go down. We know no one's doing anything. What's this? Those are idle. Yeah, probably. But anyway, let's go back to Astoria and get everyone back. And refit, now that we've gone out and done the work that we needed to. Alright. Tasha's been avenged in some way. That was for Tasha, that fight, right there. Alright, so production, how's it going? Crafting-wise, your dragon own armor, dragon bone armor is almost done. Alright. Okay, so, we can only gather, so let's go Moimira here, Ludmila. Kaji can craft, so I kind of feel like don't, I kind of feel like don't, I kind of don't want to put him there if I don't have to. So we can do a little bit of kitty for the wood. Yeah. Ludmila and Chestavoyna is the worst crafter we have of the crafting slash gathering bunch. Let's put her here. Oh really, it's not enough. I need... School Cleaver? Nice. Perfect. School Cleaver gonna help with the fruit. School Cleaver like his fruit. Alright, so. Uh, now we can craft things. I craft things! Um, we can keep doing training towards Goshirada, but more importantly, I want to get the food going. So we get Kajik to do the bread. With Bogodara to help. Then let's go Elishka. With Shabibor, maybe? He can probably help, alright. To 60. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap these two out. Go here, you go there. Perfect. And now we have bread and fruit pies every turn. That frees Goshirada to help with the dragon bone armor or go and do the wooden training sword. Let's do this to keep our... Oh, we have no more amber. We gotta disassemble some things. Someone told me a good trick to disassemble, so we're gonna try this right now. Uh, weaponry. There we go. We can probably disassemble a lot of these crappier swords. We definitely have enough stuff to do it. Let's bulk couple things. Yeah, we have we have pretty good swords. Now we can bulk out some of these crappy training swords and things. That... That is fine. We always get some scaled leather out of it. Alright, good. Yeah, I think we can bulk that out. And so you, basically what you do here... What was the trick? You take this and then you... Bulk dismantle the expedition stuff, I think. And that didn't quite go as planned. What was the way to do this? I don't even bloody remember. Oh, I think you go into expedition, maybe? And you bulk stuff? I don't even remember. Crap. Someone explain this in the comments very well. Let's try this again. <laughs> I will figure this out. This will be efficient in the future. Uh, la 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 la. Right. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do that, that, that. And that. Yes. Yes, that and those. Okay. Let's try to do this right, then. These are down. So, let's get one person who's actually equipped into this expedition. Let's just, I don't know, let's take... Mishlimu's not doing anything, okay. So we're gonna take the expedition, we're gonna disassemble in bulk everything that's not equipped. I think that's how it works. So, close. New expedition. Damn it. There we go. Inventory. And then we can bulk everything that's not equipped. This made unequipped items from Expedition 1. Bingo. Okay. Excellent. All right. Hey, that worked. Very nice. Okay, so then <laughs> next time that'll be a lot more efficient than it was this time. That I promise you. But now let's keep doing the production side. Trading sword, all done. Good. Okay. So, for now though, I think uh, as I look at my clock, that's all the time we have for today. We'll continue with the Thea adventure in the future. We're going to set out another expedition. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, staying alive. I may take a 10-man just to be safer. Uh, and then go take care of the suspicious tower, take a look at these nasty things, maybe try to take out the dying Lesh's wish, and keep on keeping on with the equipment and good stuff that we have. Until such time, I have been Urs. This has been another episode of Thea the Awakening, and I'll see you all next time. Till then.